Hi, hello everyone, and welcome back to the video of the my 1000 day challenge. This is day 679, so let's get things started. All right, so first and foremost, in terms of balance and equity of the wise starting exchange. So I'm actually about in the midst of uh, finalizing in terms of my experimental trade setup, but let's see how this goes for us. Uh, yeah, so definitely I'll be launching at the end of the month, which is in another 20 more days, or so around three more weeks in the uh, time frame itself, I intend to launch it. So still doing a little bit more testing, understanding a little bit more of when and how I should be using the uh, trading in terms of scalping, in terms of intraday market itself, but let's see how things go. Otherwise, if you look at the S&P 500 and Nasdaq, we definitely did see a very bearish rate candlestick yesterday itself. So you can see over the fact that it did form a very big bearish candlestick and the momentum is seemingly coming through today itself. Because yesterday, we not only did we break strongly below, we break below, we break strongly below, which is a very key thing that we do not want to see. And definitely, we are seeing this momentum carry through by gapping it a bit low again today. And we are going all the way down with lack of a strong support in that sense. So, definitely, we could potentially see a much lower lower trigger into the technical bear market for SP 500 because it was near around a 19% retracement. And technically, anything more than 20% is technically considered a bear market in that sense. So, I do see the potential for bear market is very much likely in play. The question is how long will we be staring in terms of bear market wise? It could be a few months, a few years, or even as long as quite an uh, extended period of time just as well. So right now I'm just staying clear of the market as well. I'm just uh, not adding in as much as I would be any in terms of my regular position as well, just keeping it to a very minimal position. But definitely in terms of long-term run, I'm still bullish in that sense. But in terms of short-term run, we definitely could see a lot of volatility, especially towards the downside of things. So stay cautious. In that perspective. So in Asia and Canada as well, we could potentially see a bounce, but of course with the US markets not doing the not, not leading the way itself, it could potentially be a downer in the sense for Asia and Canada. But let's see how things go. You can see that actually we didn't see a very bearish continuation and pattern for Asia and Canada earlier today when we do when the market did open. So that's definitely a really good sign. So let's see how things go. That's why we do maintain the bullish support wise. I would say that for ASC Shine Cable, it's still a very strong livelihood of a very decent bounce market in that sense. Then for Bitcoin itself, even though we did have a bearish close for the second day in the low below the 20 exponential moving average, I want to mention as far as we close above this range itself, which is currently between the 29k, near the 29k region itself, as far as we close above it, technically this will still be continued a range period. So we can actually go below and then we do close up above it, it could very much still remain within this range for our region itself. So we could form a technical uh, sort of bearish downs as a descending triangle kind of formation, in which case I'll lead towards further downs and momentum, whereby we could definitely very much retest strongly at least 25k or even more for it itself. So let's take cautious and I'll be definitely looking to enter a shot if we do for a red light descending triangle, and then be ready to enter for the breakout pattern in that sense or a shorter term break. With that said, I don't know, have any setup for uh, four hour and daily time break right now. If you guys have any questions, feel free to provide your comments below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.